I've started this. We'll see together just how cold natured this thing is. See, the first Trans Am came about in 1969 with the first Firebird as actually in 1967. And almost always, if you see a second gen, you can tell if it is a Firebird or a Trans Am specifically and most easily by either the fenders or the shaker. There was a Firebird offered with a shaker. You probably won't see one because the Firebird that was offered with that was a Super Duty formula and they had a shaker hood. And they also came with the 455 Super Duty. As you can imagine, it was a pretty high performance Firebird. But at that point, you're basically in Trans Am territory. I think that's why they were so rare. No, a Firebird is not a Trans Am. No, a Trans Am is not a Firebird. Yes, there are some very distinct differences. Who cares, right? So let me show you real quick a clip of a couple months ago of when I got the driver's side fender to look like this. I'm gonna take the Trans Am fender from this to this. Welcome back. It's been put on the back burner for the last couple months. So there are two big hurdles left before this thing can be painted. Finishing the hood and finishing the bottom of the fenders, which are actually pretty simple, you know, not a whole lot, just a little bit of a body work that I got to do. Not only the fender, but the hood itself were bent in this area. Actually, this is a brand new fender, and I have it marked here because it came pre-bent, which is great. Not really. I did take care of the rust that was there, and this is just what's left behind. The thing that I want to point out that makes this a little bit interesting is that this was a fiber, fiber bird? Firebird hood. You can see it's pretty darn okay. It's gonna have to be sanded. Then we'll go in and probably just do fiberglass. You know, I was, I was going back and forth if I wanted to do fiberglass or wanted to actually patch this with metal. I wasn't worried about using fiberglass instead of you know going through the trouble of welding in a patch or something like that is because they're basically pinholes and this fiberglass is going to work its way underneath and bite from the back this stuff manages to find its way into every crack crevice and on everything that you don't want it to be on <laughs> Feel this like not quite set up but pilling up if you will that's a good time to knock all the super high stuff save yourself a bit of headache later on when it becomes as hard as the rock uh, as hard as a rock not the rock That means that 
this is high. Maybe you're wondering, how do you know when you're done? When the edges start to blend out and feather out about like this, then you know you're in a good spot. The name of the game is basically just blending in that repair with the good stuff that's around it. to have this completely in paint in the very near future. It feels really, really good to finally be back on the Trans Am making a lot of progress. And we're just nearing the end of the bodywork and all the stuff that comes before actually getting this thing into paint, which should be here in the next, oh, I'd say a couple of weeks. Charlie! But if you like this kind of thing, I mean, it really does help out to like the videos, comment down below. You know, I love to hear what you have to say, good and bad. It's totally cool with me. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.